I try to reduce my need for energy. I'm driven by concern for my mokapu. We have had a declaration of an emergency for climate change, but so far no real action has been taken by government. The Senior Climate Action Network, SCAN, is a group of seniors in Dunedin who are spending their retirement fighting the climate action fight. They have attended climate protests, supported petitions and written submissions to the government. They are working towards net zero carbon emissions by 2030 and are doing their bit to provide their mokopuna with hope for a livable future. I try to reduce my need for energy. Reusing everything, so all the carbon that you create, that's growing here, goes back into the garden, into the soil. You don't put it into a bin and give it away. We try and eat seasonally, so I have tomatoes growing now, I don't have them in the winter. I can maybe dry them or put them in the freezer. Yeah, and you just use what you've got. And we try not to have too much at once, so I don't have to store a lot. It actually is in the garden, and I have a succession of different vegetables and fruit coming on. You can just walk out and there's always something there. That's my aim. Down here, yeah, I've got more beans growing and some and I try to foster the bees and the insects in, in a way by planting lots of herbs and flowers and if I see something wanting to grow I just I just might leave it and watch it and so it's a sort of a forever cycling process yeah and you can see there's lots falling down and I don't waste these what fall down I make I make sauce out of them. Outside their group activities, members of SCAN are playing their part in working towards their net zero carbon goal. While Sue reduces her need for energy through gardening, Vic is planting trees. I do this, I'm driven by concern for my mokapuna. These guys here, 12 years old, six years old, we are in a, hopefully we are working successfully at reducing the chances of societal collapse by that time. But we don't know, we can only hope. Is that you look out there, and that is basically the nuts and bolts of the future forest up there. That's where all the planting is at the moment. There's some more out on to the left. In 2021, we had planted 18,000 trees on this area here. Now, the future forest is partly to soak up uh, CO2 emissions uh, and partly to stop a lot of this erosion, but ultimately, it's really about carbon dioxide and capturing CO2 so that our future is more assured. SCAN members, such as Donna, drive electric cars or bike to get around the city. Promoting their kaupapa has also been important. So we wanted the general public to be able to download and access all of the resources which we've got. We also wanted a website which can show uh, additional features which Facebook cannot handle. Ivan manages SCAN's website to communicate their research and climate news to the general public. Um, there is some items of good news, promises of good news, but if you scroll right down, you'll find that nothing has changed. Um, you know, um, greenhouse gas emissions in New Zealand have continued unabated. And, you know, we have had a declaration of an emergency for climate change back in 2019, but so far no action 
real action has been taken by government. Members of SCAN have come from different walks of life. Some were teachers, artists and academics, and all of them have unified over the concern for the future and are now looking to work with younger generations to extend their capabilities.